Hello from Chihuahua. I am in Chihuahua. I think I've been here for almost 10 days now, so almost two weeks. And life is just moving forward. I know last update, I like hit you guys with a lot of things. Told you I was engaged and a lot of things, you know, moving. So the transition is still transitioning, if that's the best way of saying it. No, I mean, I haven't been here for very long and so there hasn't been too much that I've explored yet. I know how to get to Luis Enrique's parents' house. I know how to get to the church because that's where I live. I know how to get to a park where I'm running at and I know how to get to my grocery store. It's all in the same area. Slowly, and there's time, guys, there is time. I will be discovering more parts of Chihuahua. Updates are, I have moved, so in that transition and still trying to get into routine, also, the two directors, Merari and Ana at Tekoa, are kicking butt, running things without me. I'm still super, super hands-on. I'm meeting with them like two or three times a week. And we're just continuing to move forward with things that we're in process of doing for the Tekoa nonprofit in Mexico. But then also continuing to train them and teach them um, as they learn their responsibilities and what that looks like. But honestly, they have been crushing it. I... I'm excited for the day that I will step more back because I'm still super involved in those locations right now and just really training our leaders. But I know that soon they will get the hang of things because they are learning a lot as they are taking things over and having questions and, and just me not having had the time to train them in a lot of little different things. So that's going on, but they're crushing it. Our locations are going well. And then in Chihuahua, it's been really cool to build relationships with a few people. I'm going to the church that my fiance is a part of. Just continuing to get to know people who are my age, um, young adults, but then also like getting to know the pastor and his wife and kind of their heart. They just read my dad's book, Out of the Seats and in the Streets, and it was the sweetest thing because at church this last Sunday, he spoke about that and put up a quote that was from the book. We talked afterwards, me and the pastor, and was just basically saying like, your parents are saints and um, there's so much that was convicting to him um, in reading that book. I'm excited to bring more books so that more people from the church can read, but then also like move forward and just see the church grow in terms of like getting out of our four walls and hopefully loving the community more. The little time that I've been here, it's been really cool and really precious. The relationships and the times I've been able to spend with people who have invited me out and just meeting them at church. There's still a lot of transition and a lot of things happening, but I am very excited to be here, obviously, close to my fiance. That's amazing. And just like us finally getting to be able to spend more time together, getting to know each other, we're building our house. And so being a part of that here uh, is so fun. There's still a heck of a ton of wedding planning that we're doing, but also being together is so much better to work on it together than separate. But also I'm just so excited for the relationships that I still have so much opportunity to form and build and even just like learning more about this culture. A situation happened on Sunday that was literally crazy, but I just felt so convicted in a good way with the Lord here. And he just put us in a position that was very uncomfortable, but it was so God honoring to him um to see to know how we loved that situation so um please be praying for our directors as they are crushing it in monterey but they're also learning a lot it's just probably they're feeling like a lot on them but they're doing amazing so keep them in your prayers and then also keep me in your prayers as i continue to build relationships and learn the culture here also i am still trying to get into a routine this morning at 6 a.m it is my goal to get back into a habit of waking up early and doing some things before work. And then the other thing is, is I just ran 15 miles today and I'm literally, literally hobbling everywhere. So pray for my physical body because it got crushed today. Thank you so much for listening and hopefully this was a fun little update.